Welcome back. If you're new, here's what you missed. And in this episode, Hey y'all, welcome back to the Backyard Makeover series. We are starting inside. I just want to give you what I've been looking out at for the past few weeks, um, which has prompted me to do this video. <laughs> this is my living room. I consider my patio and outdoors to be kind of an extension of that because I can see it bright as day. <laughs> so with all of the renovations of the backyard it has definitely been neglected my little small area and i'm going to give you kind of a look of what we're looking like right now because i had the patio extended and i've been out in the backyard um, also back and forth tracking dirt it has gotten really really dirty really really dirty y'all um, everything's in one spot i really don't have a designated patio spot in the meantime not to mention my babies, my plants, they have been getting hit by the sun really, really bad. So in this video, we are going to prune the trees, get all of the majorly damaged leaves here. Of course, clean all of the dirt on the smaller patio area. My curtains I have talked about for the longest, so we are going to address those today. Curtains will be replaced, so we're saying goodbye to the $5 IKEA curtains that always just blow in the wind and just make the space a little less enjoyable when we're actually sitting out there. Here's a closer look of the sun damage, y'all. And I know it's sun damage because I did check like the back of the leaves and everything. There's no pests, anything that's causing it. It's just a matter of while I've been watering them, they have been sitting in the wrong spot and getting hit by the sun. Fun fact, because Bird of Paradise leaves are made this way, wind can easily go through them. So they are made in a way to withstand high winds perfect for tropical areas we are also going to address these lights oh my god y'all i love these lights but they are glass i was being fancy when i first got them i'm like i need glass i don't want plastic i learned my lesson these are beautiful but they bang up against the walls when it's windy so i'm going to replace those with some solar plastic lights still aesthetic but more functional for the space 
Did I mention that my birthday is in less than a week? Yes, Friday, June the 10th, which is the main reason why I wanted to do this right now. Quick pause on the labor and DIY so that I have at least a space that inspires me, a place where we can hang out when I have guests in the meantime while the backyard is being done. So step one, we're taking everything from here over here. One thing about me is I can make a space messy, okay? <laughs> I'm not proud of it, but if I'm focused on something else, it is very easy for me to neglect another area. I'm working on it. I am a work in progress, y'all. Let me know if anybody else can relate. And even if you can't relate, comment below some things that help you with that. One thing I will say is I've gotten so much better at not allowing it to get out of hand. And I don't know if I'm just super out of shape or it's really heavy, but I'm pretty sure it's a combination of the two, <laughs> if I'm honest. So here's that walkway that I want to avoid going back and forth on. So I'm going to try and make a little strip, boom, 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 straight to the patio. I don't know. Let's just give it a try. Now, I don't feel like I should have to say this, but then I also feel like I should have to say this. This is not me gardening. This is not me making a garden bed. I know, I know in order for something like this to work, I will need to dig up the grass, prep, and do all that. This is a temporary solution to be able to walk to and fro my patio while I have guests, while I clean, without worry of tracking so much dirt. Somebody is still going to comment, you should pull up those weeds, no, no, no. That's not what this is, honey. But I'm waiting for the comment. <laughs> super deep cleaning this time I just kind of wanted to get that first layer of dirt and yuck I am going to be painting this patio area completely so that is going to involve me using like chemicals real cleaning products deep cleaning before I paint the area so this is kind of like a top layer clean also the darker parts that aren't pulling up around the edges are concrete I told him I was gonna be painting the area 
So in their mind, I guess that meant we don't have to clean up all of the residue. Um, but yeah, those darker spots are concrete that was kind of smeared into the existing patio. even mentioned that a part of my backyard plans is to get a new patio set that is going to happen i'm thinking more of a conversational piece sectional comfy quality stay tuned Now I want y'all to truly see how crazy these curtains go or when the wind is blowing.
shout out to k gore this video is not sponsored but they were kind enough to send me these curtains for my outdoor area and they told me up front that they welcome all real reviews which is always always something i appreciate on my channel their outdoor curtains are made with a unique waterproof and blackout process and ultra light quality fabrics i ordered the waterproof grommet top outdoor patio curtains it comes with two panels and two weighted bags and for reference i chose the 52 inch wide and the 108 inch length on their website they have so many customizable options sizes colors and they also run a lot of deals and bargains and y'all know i always try to grab some extra savings for my tribe so if you're in the market for outdoor curtains you can save an extra 18 percent off with the code wallflower18 i'll leave all of their information in the description box below soft like velvet and it's not velvet. I don't know why I thought waterproof had to be rough and tough, but this feels so good. So freaking good. that this is also gonna give me privacy. Well, duh. Less bugs when I wanna avoid that, you know what I mean? Let me get them all up, I'ma get them all up, and then we gonna, we gonna go from there. But as you can see, the wind is blowing them. Look at that. They are already trying to leave the backyard. <laughs> but I'm glad that they're doing this right now because I was going to kind of wait to put the sandbags on. But I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I pray that it holds them down. I'll be back. How many Floridians have a bag of sand on hand? Comment below. <laughs> and also, I'm gonna fill mine with sand. I don't know if there's something better I should fill them with. If you have anything in mind, let me know. But sand is just the first thing that came to my mind. So we'll see. Sandbags are holding it down. So first of all, I have them all weighted down so they are not blowing on me. They're blowing, but they're not blowing on me. Are climbing over the fence, y'all. The weights are working, the weights are working. 
I don't know why last minute I decided to put this down here, but I'm so glad that I did. I just felt like it was inevitable with the length that I got that they were gonna flow over. When the wind blows, you can see the sandbags and it kind of like lifts a little bit off of the ground, if that makes sense, you see that? <laughs> Looks like little legs. If you have a shorter curtain, of course you won't see that. Look, look wind is serious out here so this is like this is real wind being put to the test and it's it's staying where it needs to be i might need something a little heavier i don't know let me know what y'all think but it's no longer going over the fence so that's that's really really good i love a long curtain i love a puddle what's new like y'all know i love a puddle so let, let's be clear i love a puddle <laughs> and i also wanted that to flow in my outdoor space so i intentionally chose this length but here are the curtains being put to the test in very high wind y'all it is very windy right now these are just as they are i want to show y'all these tie backs y'all because i think i prefer this look actually these tie backs they're also from k gorge beautiful do you see this like it just gives it a whole nother look a whole nother feel I have one on each of these sides here it's got the double knot oh my gosh do y'all see this Ugh, gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I'm more than likely just going to keep them just like that like tied together I love that look when I get my pergola, y'all, I am also going to have the same curtains on my pergola. So just consider this to be the beginning of what the extension of the outside space is going to be. Again, while this is more on the decor side of things, it is still a part of the backyard renovation because the same vibe is going to flow with the extension that we have out here. So just envision that. But here is also the other side. They are weighted down. The wind is blowing. They are staying in place. The main thing for me is when I'm sitting here, sitting here, sitting here, when we're gathering and just relaxing, the curtains would flap into my face. I just couldn't even, I couldn't sit out here. You know what I mean? So this has fixed that problem. I wanna kinda close them all just to kinda see how that privacy feel looks. So let me do that. So it's actually pretty dark, y'all really you really just gonna do that i'm gonna have to put something in between there but when it's completely closed i think they make things like that right like clamps in between it let me know here is the patio seclusion think about my lights when they actually like when i get the solar ones which they should be here any minute now they're being delivered from amazon here is the privacy vibe of the small patio area i feel like i feel more comfortable having my door open now would I just be having it wide open willy-nilly all the time? No, but this makes me feel like, like a closed off area versus I'm outside, if that makes sense. But let's be real, this right here will probably be a very rare occasion, okay? If I'm outside, I'm outside, so I wanna see sunlight. <laughs> I wanna breathe in the fresh air. I don't wanna feel trapped in my outdoor space, so. I will more than likely have them wide open, honey, with my tie backs. Gotta have these tie backs, y'all. Like, yes, yes. I'm gonna put those back on there. But yeah, I considered more of like the stark white curtain, but I actually have white curtains in my home. So I want to step outside and feel like it's a different kind of space. So while this isn't like a dramatic change, it is a beige. It just has a more cozy feel. And I think that that is the better choice than just like a straight white, just to add that cozy, more luxe feel. But yes, tell me what y'all think about these curtains, y'all. I'm in love. I'm in love. I wish I could really, really show them to you on a not so windy day. Like here, boom, not so windy. Here's what we have to look forward to. <laughs> but when it's windy, there's nothing you can do about that. What I do know is it's no longer gonna be going over the fence, so I'm very, very happy about that. Um, yeah. Hey Gorge, I'm going to drop all of their information in the description box below. Make sure y'all go check them out if y'all are looking for outdoor curtains, y'all. I have no complaints and I will give y'all updates if y'all want me to at a later date. These are waterproof. Yes, honey, waterproof. I have one pack on each curtain rod, so it's two panels on each. Oh, gorgeous, like absolutely gorgeous y'all this is so small compared to what i plan for the space out here but like oh i'm so glad that i did this today 
because this is truly like a space that I can come out and actually feel separated from the bugs and the heat if I need to or the rain or the dirt you know that kind of thing feels a lot more fresh out here don't worry y'all we are going to get back into the transformation part of the backyard makeover but I'm taking this week to prepare for my birthday I'm not doing anything crazy I'm spending it with some of the people that I love the most. I'm making a weekend of it, you know. I might not have a video next week because I'm taking this week off of manual labor, back breaking, DIY, all the things to focus on myself, love on myself, and prepare myself for another year around the sun. So, um, June 10th is my birthday, by the way. If I don't, I'm not gonna post anything on my birthday. So, yeah, just wanted to tell y'all that. <laughs> Gemini's, where y'all at? Gemini's, where y'all at? Shout out to my Gemini's. I don't think we need to say it. June is the best month of the year. Gemini's the best sign of the horoscope. Y'all wanna fight? Do y'all wanna fight? <laughs> I'm just playing. But if you are a Gemini, drop some Gemini emojis just so I know we all here. Yeah, I am looking forward to a calm, stress-free weekend of celebrating life. And that is it. That is all. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody that would benefit from getting new curtains for their outdoor space, share this video. Comment below and tell me what you think. Did you enjoy the clean with me of the patio? Are you excited for what is to come? Because man, when I take my wusa, celebrate all the good things that are to come and that have already happened, okay? That's another thing. Okay, let me say it real quick. Let me, let me say this real quick, okay? Because I had to say this to myself. I say it to myself all the time, but I have to constantly remind myself. Remember to take a moment <laughs> from all the things that you have going, all the life that is happening, the family, the work, the accomplishments, the what could feel like failures, the things, the struggles, all the things in life, right? Take a moment to be present. <laughs> Remember to be present, y'all. Remember to be, it's so important to be present. This very moment is a moment to be present, to look in front of you, to look around you and just be. Sometimes I can think too much about what is to come, what I have planned, even what has happened. You know what I'm saying? That I personally forget to stop, breathe and be present. And the power that is in being present is unexplainable. So that's what I plan to do to celebrate my birthday. This was a reminder to you, even if it's not a celebration, to take a moment to be present, be thankful, be mindful of what you're welcoming and what, what energy you're giving to your surroundings, the world, all of the above, okay? All right. <laughs> you know I could talk. Uh, you know I could talk, so I'm gonna stop. Thank y'all for being here. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Here are the solar lights that I got, and if I can get enough charge by the end of this video, <laughs> I'll insert that clip now. I can barely breathe. my camera out the game oh yeah y'all gotta go
this is not long enough. Oh, <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> I was gonna try that. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> like this what's it really like recording outside in Florida it's like this <laughs> it's like this <laughs> the things y'all don't see the things y'all don't see it's almost like okay bear with me I go I want